selanjutnya kita akan ngobrol-ngobrol singkat dengan anak-anak muda yang keren banget. Uh, mereka ini dari Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Um, mereka itu sudah cukup lumayan lama, I think, uh, berkem- berjalan bersama. Uh, dan anak-anak muda ini punya banyak cerita yang mungkin bisa diambil um, makna kegiatannya. Dan mungkin teman-teman yang masih muda gitu, Uh, bisa join juga bareng dengan teman-teman dari uh, Restoring Borneo Atlas ini. Oke, okay, uh, kita akan segera invite uh, dari Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Her live ID-nya, Boss. Oke. Okay. Hi! Hi. Hi, I'm Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, Grace and Kanita. Welcome. Selamat datang di Old Talk, Action That Inspires. Senang sekali bisa bertemu dengan kalian. Ya, uh, Old Talk ini apa kabar nih, kalian? Baik. We're good, thank you. Ini <laughs> lokasinya lagi di mana nih sekarang? So, I think we're both in Jakarta right now. So, oh. Home, so. Okay. Oh my God. Kayaknya nervous banget nih. <laughs> si Grace sama si Kanita. Don't be nervous. <laughs> Please don't be nervous. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, teman-teman uh, Grace dan uh, Kanita, untuk waktunya. Uh, kita berbincang-bincang singkat bersama dengan Boss Foundation. Uh, mungkin kita bisa perkenalan dulu ya, siapa sih Restoring Borneo Wildlife, siapa sih Grace, Susan, dan harusnya ada satu lagi ya dari teman-teman Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Yeah, so... Uh, oh, <laughs> So, hi, my name is Grace Lynn. I am the founder and the leader of Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Um, I'm Kanita, and I'm the co-founder, and as well as I'm the head of design for Restoring Borneo Wildlife. So design, like, um, for logo and merchandise and things like that. Oh, jadi ini ada leadernya dan juga ada co-foundernya yang responsible for the beautiful visual on the Instagram and also the merchandise. Very cool. Um, We actually have um, one more member, Sasha, oh. but fortunately mm-hmm. she couldn't be here today, but um, um, she has regards. Oh, oke. Okay. Thank you, Sasha. And thank you juga, Grace dan Kanita, sekali lagi untuk berada di Ivy Life Boss Foundation ini. Um, mungkin bisa jelasin sedikit kali ya tentang restoran Borneo Wildlife, apa sih yang menginspirasi kalian, dan can you also mention who you guys are, and like, uh, where do you go to school to, if you're working now or something, you know, just a short introduction about you guys. So yeah, uh, we're currently both students at uh, British School Jakarta. Mm-hmm. Then uh, Restoring Borneo Wildlife dipimpin oleh siswa-siswa uh, uh, siswa-siswa sekolah dan remaja di Jakarta. Dan sebagai organisasi, kita ingin uh, mengajar anak TK dan anak-anak di sekeliling Jakarta dan Indonesia uh, tentang kepentingan uh, preservasi lingkungan nasional Indonesia. Dan sebagai organisasi, kita keliling uh, ke sekolah-sekolah uh, Jakarta mm-hmm. dan presentasi de- tentang uh, hewan nasional uh, Indonesia seperti orang hutan. Mm-hmm. Dan uh, um, kita juga menjual merchandise yang didesain oleh tim Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Oh, uh, cool. Dan, um, Dan uang yang dikumpul dari jualan merchandise akan didonasikan kepada program-program BOSF. Mm. Yeah. Keren banget sih. Uh, by the way, FYI ya guys, mereka fundraise for the whole 2020. Jadi mereka udah fundraising selama de- tahu, dari tahun 2020 dan donasinya itu sudah didonasikan ke Boss Foundation. Terima kasih banyak loh teman-teman dari Restoring Borneo Wildlife atas usahanya yang keren banget walaupun di tengah pandemik masih terus mengusahakan untuk uh, awareness and campaigning for the orangutans. Um, dan juga ada hal keren yang menurut aku patut banget ya apresiasi. Kalian katanya menang cash trip 2020 ya. Itu keren banget sih boleh diceritain enggak sih kalian sebenarnya menang apa gitu dan uh, kenapa uh, kalian yang dimenangkan gitu mungkin. Um, yes. jadi cash trip 
yeah. adalah organisasi um, um, uh, for cast project specifically untuk um, siswa IB IB students and IB schools all around the world. And so we found out about this competition from our cast coordinator in school. And jadi the competition is open for any cast um, project and you can submit a three minute video untuk, to explain um, what your project is. Um, what uh, UN SDG Sustainable Development Goals that you... no, no, oh, okay. there. Okay. I'll continue so basically CAST Trips is basically this global competition that we were a part of and lain sinyal lagi agak agak susah juga ya ternyata nggak cuma di kita aja di Bos Foundation. Oke okay, mungkin Grace bisa dijelasin juga sedikit tentang yeah. uh, cast trip dan kegiatan ini. Oh wait oh sorry so basically we um, we participated in this competition so we were against I think um a lot of ib schools around the world so basically mm -hmm. we um submitted a video and we were fortunate enough to win this global competition and we um and as a reward we are going to speak in the global student forum in boston mm -hmm. and um and we um are hoping that through this Um, and we're extremely proud to be the very first Indonesian group to actually win this global title, so which is really cool. And, wow, uh, keren! And um, we hope through our movement that we could continue to inspire many other people and many other students in the future to continue to talk about and advocate about things that you're passionate about. And mm. yeah. <laughs> wow. Bayangin guys, jadi organisasi pertama dari Indonesia yang menang di cast trips going against uh, schools from abroad yang pastinya juga mereka punya apa namanya metode dan usaha-usaha uh, sendiri yang keren-keren juga. Tapi kalian berhasil menang. Congratulations, bangga banget bisa being part of your journey. Um, Very very proud really about you guys. Oke, okay, uh, jadi kegiatannya apa aja sih yang kalian lakukan sebagai movement dan organisasi anak muda? Apa sih yang kalian sudah kerjakan gitu dari awal berdirinya sampai sekarang dan hopefully uh, kedepannya kayak ini, uh, apakah akan ada open recruitment kah dari dari teman-teman um, yang mau join juga ke teman uh, dengan organisasinya kalian? Sorry, is Kanita? trying to request or... oh okay wait hold on i think i can like send a request to you guys. okay um oh there she is okay <laughs> sorry about that it's okay okay <laughs> jadi aku ulang kali ya pertanyaannya uh, untuk kegiatannya restoring borneo wildlife tuh apa aja sih yang kalian kerjakan dan uh, apakah kedepannya kalian akan ada open recruitment atau apakah bagaimana sih kalian akan melanjutkan movementnya ini uh, kedepannya bersama dengan teman-teman seperti itu um, jadi the main um, the our main focus as restoring borneo wildlife is always about advocacy and education. Jadi um, some of the stuff that we've done before adalah bekerja sama dengan sekolah-sekolah di Jakarta, um, particularly anak-anak muda. And so one of the things that we did with um, one school called Kids Castle, itu uh, TK mm -hmm. di Jakarta, adalah uh, kompetisi storytelling. Um, we also mm -hmm. worked with some students from our school, British School Jakarta, um, siswa dari kelas Um, enam sampai kelas delapan um, to uh, help them um, uh, to help them raise uh, help us with fundraising and raising awareness by mm -hmm. um, through creative um, methods like they can um, we help them how to just teach them how to um, make games board games or um, uh, do presentations in an interesting way 
or to create short stories about environmental conservation to teach them that um, advocacy and um, environmental coordination uh, co conservation can be done in a very creative way and not just not just one way. Mm, menarik menarik banget. Kegiatannya mm -hmm. ternyata luas ya, jadi nggak kayak cuma fundraising dan raising awareness, tapi juga uh, mendukung kegiatan-kegiatan kreatif lainnya uh, di mana teman-teman yang mungkin masih sekolah, tapi justru kalian masih bisa ber memberi, justru kalian juga bisa memberikan kontribusi yang sangat besar untuk uh, konservasi gitu. Uh, keren, keren banget. Dan um, aku juga pengen, aku juga penasaran sih sebenarnya dari awal kalian berdiri itu kenapa kalian memilih Boss Foundation sebagai organisasi yang ingin kalian dukung gitu. Jadi ini sih dari dulu ya, tapi Restoran Borneo Wildlife dimulai sebagai, sebagai proyek sekolah. Dan mm -hmm. kita juga membuat, jadi kita disuruh uh, membuat suatu showcase lah tentang topik yang kita mem, uh, ingin mempelajari dengan uh, lebih detail. Dan sejak aku uh, kecil, saya suka banget nih hewan. Jadi uh, karena itu, saya ingin membuat proyek yang uh, ya, tentang hewan. Jadi aku pertama kan riset, habis itu saya belajar tentang kepentingan orang hutan di uh, untuk uh, lingkungan Indonesia dan uh, karena itu saya uh, ketemu situs BOSF dan hmm. uh, kita aku pertama kontak BOSF dan kita diundang di ke headquarters Samboja Lesari dan uh, sejak uh, pertama kali saya mengunjung ke Samboja Lesari ya um, BOSF sangat suportif dan memberi uh, kita informasi dan fasilitas untuk uh, tetap uh, menganjurkan tentang kepentingan uh, preservasi lingkungan Indonesia. Jadi ya. Yeah. Berarti udah dari dari lumayan lama lah ya. Ini organisasinya memang sudah lumayan. How long has it been, you guys? Uh, uh, around longer? six years. Wow, six years. Six years dan starting to actually give impact. Jadi kayak walaupun kayak masih kayak six years ago tuh kayak masih S no SD ya kelas enam kelas enam SD where you start dan sekarang udah sampai menang ke global competition itu sangat inspirational dan kita sangat appreciate banget uh, usahanya teman-teman restoring Borneo wildlife sampai ke Hamboja Lestari, sampai ke Kalimantan untuk dapetin ilmunya. Dan kita juga senang banget teman-teman udah saling berbagi juga melalui uh, kegiatannya Restoring Borneo Wildlife, kerjasama dengan sekolah-sekolah lain dan kegiatan-kegiatan uh, yang sudah kalian kerjakan. Nah, dari seluruh kegiatan yang sudah kalian kerjakan tuh yang paling mengesankan buat teman-teman apa ya? Kayak yang kayak, kayak something that's so memorable Uh, that you will keep uh, talking about it and you will like tell everyone about that? I think, um, like I mentioned, we did a, a story, kita membuat um, kompetisi storytelling untuk um, anak-anak usia 3 sampai 7 tahun. And then tema mm -hmm. kompetisi ini adalah tentang um, firstly environmental conservation, um, about deforestation in Indonesia, dan uh, dampak industri um, palm oil, uh, kelapa sawit di Indonesia, and how that um, affects um, hewan hewan, like especially the endangered species in Indonesia. And menurut kita ini kegiatan ini paling berkesan karena we're encouraging and teaching um, children bagaimana cara mempresentasikan Um, research mereka di dalam bentuk yang lebih kreatif. So they, like I mentioned, mm. that they they created short stories, bikin puisi, lagu, or buat diorama. And so it is also important that they were the one who came up with the idea. Jadi um, mm. environmental conservation tuh is something that has to come from yourself. It doesn't like said mm -hmm. you cannot tell other people to do it, otherwise it doesn't come from passion or a place that's mm -hmm. pure. And so we're trying to encourage that for young children to uh, to find to find what it is that they they are passionate about in terms of environmental conservation and approach it in a creative way. Wow. Terus 
Itu kan anak SD ya, umur tiga, oh kelas berapa tadi? Kalau nggak salah, tiga, enam, enam kelas SD gitu. Kayak SD, really, SD. really young gitu. Responnya yeah. gimana kah? Kayak karya-karyanya mereka gimana kah? Mungkin bisa diceritakan sedikit. They had a really positive response to this because um, for our storytelling competition, we could really tell that the children were really, really enthusiastic about the things that they were doing. Like you mm-hmm. could see them um, give 150% of their effort into it their presentations and their poetries and their dioramas. And I think specifically um, in our school's case, they were really excited about learning about the importance of wildlife. So mm-hmm. I, we had a couple of kids actually code games mm-hmm. about orangutans and uh, preser- the preservation of wildlife. And we also had students who uh, painted rocks and then cr- uh, with our logo and printed out brochures to, uh, to give out around their neighborhoods, which is really, really um, incredible for them to, uh, uh, incredible. And I think that because of the positive response, it also has motivated us to try to be better as a, an organization. So we try to formulate new ideas and new ways to, um, to continue to, I guess, um, motivate students because I think the number one thing that really helps us as an organization flourish is to make other people passionate about the things that we're passionate about and I think that Mm. by um, specifically because we're our aim is towards a younger demographic we have uh, we created designs I guess for Instagram posts that are more vibrant uh, that are more vibrant and I guess the um i guess the um, i think storytelling is also a huge uh, part part of it so i think because me and kanita were able to travel to somewhere to the thanks to you guys we're also uh-huh. able to to create uh, to tell in more detail about how critical this issue is so mm, yeah. i see i see jadi kayak berbagi berbagi api semangat lah ya untuk konservasi melalui kegiatan-kegiatan yang enggak cuma diikuti sama uh, anak-anak muda doang tapi I think uh, dari semua umur itu bisa banget melakukan kegiatan yang uh, kreatif yang untuk menunjukkan kayak oh uh, ini loh cara caraku untuk mendukung kon- kegiatan konservasi gitu wow yeah. very inspirational keren banget sampai menang ya <laughs> ke <laughs> itu yang <laughs> We were really amazed when you, when your school and when you guys also mentioned that, oh, we won this uh, competition. And we're like, wow, that's how impactful your movement are. Se- sebesar itu impact yang diberikan. Dari kegiatan yang mungkin menurut orang simple ya, tapi justru kegiatan simple itulah yang justru memberikan um, apa namanya impact yang paling besar dan raising awareness dan it really is an amazing way for for students or for anyone to support conservation in their own way terutama di pandemi ini keren sih um, untuk uh, para anak-anak muda nih yang mungkin hadir juga di IG Live ini uh, kalian ada harapan dan pesankah untuk teman-teman yang Uh, mungkin bingung nih untuk start their uh, supporting their conser- uh, conservation journey kalian ada uh, pesankah untuk mereka sebagai yang sudah melalui semua kegiatan yang uh, keren-keren ini yang sampai kalian menang juga I think firstly as a foundation um, especially as a anak muda harus selalu membaca berita. Jadi, not just mm. about environmental conservation, but all kinds of news tentang politics di Indonesia, politics around the world, tentang science and technology, because um, everything is connected. So everything in science, new inventions, will always help, um, will can help the environment, or things that are happening in the politics world have a huge impact on the environment, as we know in Indonesia, kan? Mm-hmm. And also, it's important for um, uh, young students to uh, read news about other businesses. So, mm-hmm. yang, like, um, 
the ones that just uh, spoke just now, Kasi, for example, or The Body Shop. Um, these are small businesses or big businesses that have um, focuses on environmental conservation, using new technology to improve their products and things like that. So it's important that these children have something to look up to and to be inspired by and have these older role models that they that they see um, are doing things to help the environment and that will hopefully inspire them to do the same. Oh, keren keren banget. Can you tell thank you Grace? Ada yang boleh tambahkan? I think if if you're hesitant on trying to start an organization because of probably time constraints or anything, I think that the best thing that you can do is to start now because the more you push it back, the more it's not going to happen. So I think if you want to try to create substantial change, it doesn't always have to be by starting an organization. You could try to be a part of an organization like BOSF mm. or GASI and mm. learn from what they're doing. And then if one day you decide to um, try to become, uh, establish your own organization, you should try to do it with the utmost best you can because that is when the best results and the most substantial change will would always happen so <laughs> yeah that's my advice wow oke okay. uh, terima kasih bener juga sih sebenarnya apa yang dikatakan Grace uh, there's no better time than now uh, kalau bisa dikerjakan sekarang apapun itu just do it right karena ya kapan lagi kalau bukan sekarang dan terutama ketika pandemi seperti ini ketika semua orang masih uh, fokusnya ke online everything online justru disitulah momennya ketika kita untuk melakukan campaign. Um, true, that's very true. Uh, Oke, okay. um, last question before we move to the Q&A session. Apakah harapan uh, dan goal kalian ke depannya untuk restoring Borneo Wildlife sebagai organisasi? Apakah kalian berharap untuk ini, like untuk maju ke langkah yang uh, lebih besar lagi? Atau what's your ambition for, for this uh, movement of yours? So I think because we're receiving a tertiary education abroad, me and Kanita and Sasha would want to expand this uh, organization to a global level because I think because our school will also want to continue our organization. So I think by expanding um, our uh, Restoring Borneo Wildlife to different countries, I think the message of trying to spread awareness about specifically an, uh, endemic species in Indonesia will mm. become more effective and we are able to reach a larger platform per se because I think the more I think uh, the more it, more people around the world are able to advocate about this issue I think our mission would be quicker uh, will be established uh, in a faster manner, I guess. Mm. And I think that, um, I think that also uh, talking about uh, the importance of wildlife isn't only constricted to an Indonesian demographic because there are also many countries with a really rich um, uh, env environmental diversities like Brazil mm. uh, with Brazil. the Amazon forest and everything. So I think that if, Uh, the larger platform we have, I think the more effective and uh, the, the more uh, substantial change we can achieve. Hmm. I see, I see. Jadi pengen go international ya? Wow, yeah. keren. Wow. Oh, so excited for you guys. Okay, um, ini this, um, discussion session untuk uh, Otel kali ini uh, already uh, done. Thank you so much, Kanita and Grace for your time, for your inspirational um, movements. Pesan dan kesannya juga uh, kita berharap uh, kalian bisa terus melanjutkan. Uh, Nextnya kita akan ada Q&A session, jadi uh, akan bersama dengan teman-teman uh, dari Kasi juga. So I'm just gonna invite uh, them again here. Jadi kalau untuk teman-teman eh, yang punya pertanyaan untuk kasih untuk restoring Borneo wildlife, uh, taruh aja di comment section atau di Q&A box, uh, bisa banget. So, ntar aku invite dulu si kasihnya. Uh, 
Oke, wait, hold on. Lagi loading. Oke, okay. halo, Sue. Halo, perkenalkan ini Grace dari Restoran Borneo Wildlife. Grace, terima kasih dari Susan. Orang-orang oh, wanita-wanita tangguh yang uh, sudah bekerja sangat-sangat luar biasa sekali untuk uh, kegiatan kampanye uh, konservasi dan juga kampanye value lain yang uh, pastinya keren sekali untuk didukung ya, untuk didukung sama teman-teman. Oke, kita sebenarnya udah ada nih beberapa questions uh, yang hopefully bisa dijawab oleh teman-teman juga. <tuh> Oke, okay, mungkin akan kita ada question dari at Simon Lair 121. Ya, yeah, at Simon. Dan ini pertanyaannya untuk uh, untuk Susan. Um, artinya dari Kasih itu apa ya? Um, so we chose the name Kasih because uh, Kasih in Indonesian um, means to give, but also means love. Uh, mm-hmm. And then we just got rid of the H because the word is cuter and shorter. <laughs> <laughs> Jadi kayak demi estetik, nggak <laughs> demi estetik juga sih, tapi kayak. lebih apa ya le- agar lebih simpel aja ya kasih dan artinya juga sangat meaningful wow oke okay. um, kita juga ada pertanyaan kedua ini dari p underscore dua sembilan empat dan kayaknya ini lebih cocok untuk uh, restoring Borneo wildlife so this is for you Grace uh, this organization is really great do you work as volunteers or Do you also like open volunteers? We, uh, we all work as volunteers. So basically, we all different mm-hmm. have different roles. We, uh, we're responsible for, for example, Sasha is uh, responsible for social media. So we have a social media brand. Sa- uh, mm-hmm. Kanita yeah. is um, mainly focused on um, merchandise design, and I'm mainly involved with um, event organizing. So I mm. think um, we were uh, our members, and uh, we're all in, um, kind of um, involved in some kind of way. So mm-hmm. I think um, we're both uh, we're both volunteers, and we're both in charge of the operations of Restoring Borneo Wildlife. Mm, I see. Jadi kalian ada buka volunteer nggak selain kalian bertiga gitu untuk saat ini atau yeah, untuk ke depannya? Okay. Okay. Uh, kita udah ada sih sebetulnya sekarang mm. dan sekarang kita uh, we have a club for children who oh. uh, we have a ch- children's club so basically they're also volunteer quote unquote volunteers so they mainly just do advocacy and research and we host uh, meetings sometimes and they would host their own research and would create their own personal projects and ad and advocate in their way in in their uh, individual way to, um, to help uh, spread awareness for our organization. So. Mm, I see. Mm, Oke. Okay. Berarti kalau, kalau misalkan ada yang mau ter- atau tertarik gitu volunteer bersama Restoring Borneo Wildlife, ini bisa kemana nih? Apakah bisa langsung DM aja atau gimana? Iya, boleh langsung DM, boleh email juga di uh, email kita yang ada di uh, ditulis di bio. Oke, so, oh, yeah. oke, okay, okay, keren. Kalau dari kasih, do you guys open for volunteers or any other uh, activities that people can also be involved in? Um, we're actually accepting interns at the moment, um, oh. so I guess that's a type of volunteer. Um, but okay. yeah, of course, uh, we would always love anyone to join to help support the causes and the charities that we're working with. Hmm, ini kalau misalkan ada yang mau intern di Kasi, ini bisa kemana nih? Uh, you bisa can send us email to hello at wearekasi.com. Hello at wearekasi.com. Wow. Jadi buat teman-teman yang masih sekolah atau mungkin Grace dan teman-teman pengen bergab- pengen internship juga bisa langsung at hel- uh, hello at uh, wearekasi.com. Uh, siapa tahu nanti ter- uh, terinspirasi bes- uh, untuk bikin organisasi lagi atau mungkin bisa bantu untuk nge-push organisasinya untuk jadi semakin jauh. Oke. Okay. Keren. 
Um, sama ada satu pertanyaan lagi. Unfortunately, kayaknya ini Q&A box-nya BWS. Uh, IG live ini lagi off. But I did saw uh, satu, apa namanya, satu pertanyaan yang menurut aku menarik. Um, kesan um, kalau dari restoran Borneo Wildlife, uh, dari Grace, kan udah pernah ke Kamboja. Um, apa sih uh, kesannya untuk uh, yang paling kegiatan yang atau apa sih kesannya yang paling wow ketika uh, bekerja sama atau ketika membahas tentang uh, orang hutan? So I think the most um, substantial thing and the most impactful thing that we've learned from our trip to Cambodia was actually actually looking at um, we were able to interview some of the vets from BOSF mm -hmm. and we uh, we were able to look from a distance at, at the orangutans that were being um, that were being um, held in the conservation and I think the most touching thing for us was listening to each of the orangutan stories and how much of a struggle uh, they had to face because I Uh, I think a couple of years ago, I was able to uh, see Copral, who Copral, I think uh -huh. probably, yeah, who who lost his arms or or something, mm. and yeah. it was it was really it was really touching, and it really it really opened my eyes to how we as humans don't really treat the environment as we should, and we have to do a better job at trying trying to. Um, trying to preserve uh, wildlife, especially the declining population of the orangutans are are becoming a bigger issue because orangutans play an, an extremely significant role in our forests by spreading seeds for, so trees can continue to grow. But if we don't have the, uh, the orangutans anymore, uh, we will lose what really makes Indonesia Indonesia which mm. is the wildlife so yeah mm, wow jadi um, sangat ini ya sangat apa namanya inspirasional lah uh, untuk buat berbagi Grace bisa pergi ke Kalimantan uh, ke Samboja terutama uh, salah satu lokasi tempat kerja kita yang sayangnya karena COVID-19 Uh, keduanya harus tutup untuk sementara ini demi menjaga um, pencegahan sih sebenarnya lebih ke pencegahan uh, terinfeksinya uh, staff kita yang ada di sana dari COVID-19 um, kita juga belum berani buka karena uh, orang hutan kan 97% DNA-nya bersama ya sama uh, manusia jadi kita we're doing everything we can to make sure that the orangutans are healthy they're safe Um, di tempatnya Boss Foundation um, Unfortunately kasih belum pernah uh, ke sana belum ada kesempatan because we just started this uh, collaboration last year right but when you heard about the Boss Foundation when you learn more about the orangutans what is your first impression and what makes you feel like oh this is it this is what we have to we have to do together gitu kayak cerita apa yang makes you Um, feel like it really resonate with you and you want people to know about it? Um, I think that we've mentioned before that we we like the idea of, um, you know, creating a positive impact, but also um, playing to people's more kind of like positive emotions when it comes mm -hmm. to donations, mm -hmm. because um, a lot of uh, kind of charity foundations, they'll play to the more negative emotions like the fear oh. or shock factor, Um, mm -hmm. which is also a very good way to incite donations, like how UNICEF does it with um, starving children, for example, as part of their mm -hmm. imagery. Um, mm -hmm. But what we really like with Boss Foundation is that it provides really uplifting. Hello? Oh, I think her connection is a little bit... Um... <laughs> Oke, okay, sambil uh, menunggu uh, Susan uh, bercerita, mungkin teman-teman jika ada pertanyaan lagi, uh, silahkan di-drop di comment section. Uh, jangan lupa pertanyaan yang paling menarik itu akan dapat voucher belanja dari orang hutan shop. 
Pernyataan Shop adalah salah satu uh, usahanya Boss Foundation untuk raising awareness sekaligus uh, fundraising. Jadi 100% dari penjualan yang merchandise Boss Foundation juga um, akan digunakan untuk kesejahteraannya orang hutan. Wah, sepertinya sinyalnya agak sedikit uh, kurang lancar dari kasih. I'm gonna try and invite them again. Aku akan coba. Oke, okay. um, kayaknya dari kasih ada masalah koneksi. Oh, oke, okay. here we go. Kita coba lagi. Oh, right. Um, ini ada pertanyaan juga. Ini, uh, I'm from dari V nol dua Kalau dia ini dari Jerman. Tapi gimana caranya dia bisa bantu support? Do you also, also accept support from abroad? Uh, Teman-teman yeah. dari Storing Walmart? We And definitely how can people... Oke, yeah. oke. Okay, okay. right. Gimana tuh ceritanya? Bisa so terima we... support dari... We're completely open to anyone from any, anywhere around the world to help advocate mm. for our cause. You can... Um, If you have any specialties or you want to help in a specific way, you can try to email us at Restoring Borneo, um, Restoring Borneo Wildlife at gmail.com to talk about some things you plan to contribute to BOS, uh, to BOSF, <laughs> um, Restoring Borneo Wildlife and BOSF. And, mm. um, and you can, uh, if you want to be involved in um, starting a branch, for example, in Germany, you can also, you can also do that and we can keep in constant contact with you if you want. Oke, mm, oke. Okay, okay. uh, hi Susan, kembali lagi. <laughs> we're finally back. Um, yeah, I think you were in the middle of uh, sharing about what makes you feel like the Boss Foundation and Cassie really resonate with one another. Could you also explain again about that? Yeah, sorry for the technical issues. Um, but I was just touching upon how I think that um, Boss Foundation provides like a really positive way to support conservation. And I really like the content with um, your orangutan school. And you know, these, these videos are something that can spread a little positivity uh, throughout our day. And um, this is what we're like, we made a conscious decision in the beginning when we started Kasi. We, the type of way that we want to kind of get more donations is by, um, triggering the more positive emotions, which I think can have a longer lasting effect uh, by creating kind of a shared experience. Um, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, uh, keren, uh, keren, keren. Um, we're really happy that you also noticed that. Jadi di Boss Foundation, we believe that uh, positive uh, encouragement is the way to go and that's what we're trying to do that's why we're really excited to be working with Kasi and restoring Borneo Wildlife karena kita merasa misinya sama gitu kita pengen um, semua orang mulai dengan hal kecil tapi positif dan hopefully berubah menjadi habit uh, kita ada satu pertanyaan lagi I think this is gonna be the last question uh, it's almost an hour in life with the Boss Foundation Uh, ini dari Teresia Kencana. Sebagai wanita, hmm, apa yang terbersit di pikiran kalian ketika mau mulai melangkah untuk membentuk organisasi tersebut? What is the thought process behind that? Uh, siapa juga nih yang mau jawab? Susan or Grace, do you wanna answer first? Um, Sorry, could you repeat the question? Do you want to go okay. Okay, so sebagai wanita, as a woman, uh, what is the thought process of when you're about to um, make the organization that you're currently uh, working on? Like, what makes you would like to do this um, and uh, support the values that you're supporting now? Sure, uh, I'll go sure. first. Um, okay. I think that as... Um, I mean, sadly, in, in the world that we live in today, as women, we still need to help and um, inspire and support other women in order to uh, be able to embark on these kind of journeys and, and start our own businesses. 
whereas in reality it should just be um as easy for us as uh, it is for men but you know i'm happy that we're able to um to do something that both inspires other women but also supports women so one of the the key uh segments within kasi is also um women uh related foundations so one of the the organizations that we work with support refugee women mm yeah 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 the team nya kasi sendiri apakah mostly women or ada uh men nya juga Uh, so, so far, there's only three of us. Uh, there's mm-hmm. Arina and myself, and then um, mm-hmm. the other employee is a man. <laughs> oh, we, okay. We have a good balance. <laughs> wow, okay. Jadi kayak benar-benar lebih ke women, empowering women lah ya. 